Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flame Reconnection. How are you today? I am located in Chicago, Illinois, where I also do in-person Twin Flame Body energy sessions to help you balance. So in today's topic, what I want to talk to you about is stop being an empath. It's not a badge of honor. It's hurtful. It's painful. It's uncomfortable. It's actually at the point where you can cease and start to get better and there is something that replaces it. It's something that I call be new, be new and don't have all of your stuff clinging to you. Now, over the years, I have realized that um, there's a lot of people that um, this is actually a very painful situation for it can have symptoms that are very similar to fibromyalgia, but there's also emotional pain. There is egoic pain uh, that they feel. There is pain that is um, sometimes very deep, like it, it can feel like psychic pain. And that's all valid because being an empath means that there's something uh, very deep and long ago that has happened and then somehow it's it, what it reminds me of it's like having a wire crimped or bent or all tangled up you know like where there's sort of like this thing all tangled up but then you have another one and then that gets tangled up so then you have so many entanglements there's like knots in your energy so how do you stop being an empath? Well, um, first of all, let's talk about why would you? Why does this happen? It extends into your ancestry. So this is also a part of um, why you have, you know, some of these feelings. It's not just because you're an overly sensitive person or a highly sensitive person, although you are. It can be tied to what has happened throughout history to your ancestors and the opposite of this is sometimes narcissism and this is why sometimes empaths and narcissists are like a match made in hell and we don't want any more of that we want to get people away from feeling empathic or so empathic that they become dysfunctional they don't feel that they can function properly they don't feel that they can function at social events so there's a big tie-in with the Twin Flame Ascension and mental health. Mental emotional health is a big part of your Ascension process. And so stopping to be an empath means a bit of unplugging because it does affect your emotions. It really doesn't fully shift though unless you clear yourself and you have to know proper ways of clearing because it includes clearing your sexual energy. It includes clearing things out from what you have experienced. And it includes sometimes clearing your body so that your body itself has an opportunity to refresh itself. Through the shift, it means that you ditch things. So we have a huge shift coming up here. And I don't just mean that there is an election. There's a lot of things happening worldwide. And all of the big push that has taken place since really from uh, February, when um, the illnesses worldwide, the pandemic started up to May, where there was a huge big push. And now there's sort of this um, point where it's like a bulldozer has pushed all the garbage into place. And people are becoming confused because it doesn't matter where you're from, how your appearance is. This is internal stuff. People are becoming very mentally confused. They don't know if they should continue on this journey. It may not be fulfilling for you. It's not going to be fulfilling if you've been focusing on putting your energies towards other people. So that is why it affects your emotions. You have to be able to shift it back to yourself and understand the real reason why you're doing this is because you are the one who is breaking up ancestral patterns. Now you could be the hub in your family. And some people are like that. They, they're, you know, they're sort of like 
the spoke and everyone's, you know, revolving around you. They're all looking to you. You feel like the strongest person in the room. They're always looking to you for answers or decisions or strengths. You might be a, a patriarchal type in a good way. You may be a matriarchal type in a good way, but yet you want everybody out. And sometimes you have to catch what is your own inner dialogue with yourself. Are you saying things to yourself like everybody out? Yeah, it gets like that. And yet that's a healthy thing. That is something that you should do if you want to, you know, break the ancestral patterns because ancestral patterns happen to both men and women. What about the ancestry? Well, what has happened to your group or your tribe or your ethnicity or your religion or any of the above that could be a factor in there? So usually there are multiple factors and there's one other really big, huge factor, which is why I am the proper person to help you with this. Your cosmic levels, the type of angelic you are, there are some that are much more put upon than others. There are some that have been made to do things or there have, are some that have been abducted en masse. And this is sometimes forgotten as to the details but it's not forgotten as a memory and a feeling and an emotion of, you know, everyone on your nerves or some other version of that. So when it comes to your ancestry, this can go back into lifetimes. And sometimes that's where your own existence here is saying, like, the buck stops here. Okay, enough of this. We have to stop this. It's time for at least one of us to get better so that you get that whole ripple effect, that whole domino effect. And you get away from the fears and what caused it to begin with. Because the original cause usually has been some point in history where this just goes awry, it goes off the rails. And yet people have had to live like that because the next thing, your next evolution is not in place. Well, we are here now. That is what we are embarking on here over the next decade is the next solutions are getting into place. And that is your template of relationship from 5D. Okay, let's let's kind of break that down. A template means a new blueprint. It doesn't mean um, something that you just easily discard. It's actually quite the opposite. It's something that you gradually build up, strengthen, get accustomed to. Because some people are so accustomed to being an empath, they actually think that that's normal because that's been their normal. It's normal to be empathic. It's normal to be dysfunctional. It's normal to not be able to go into crowds. It's normal to not be able to go to the grocery store. And meanwhile, the physical body keeps diminishing in its efforts to stay healthy. Our natural inclination is to be healthy. Being unwell is not normal. <laughs> We're getting to a new normal where just ascension is the new normal. Health is the new normal. The ability to get healthier becomes the new normal by integration of your new template. And that is what is going on. You're integrating the new template. So You've moved from 3D, whatever has happened here. And sometimes this is the tribal lives, the tribal lives, the groups. Um, you know, can any of you honestly say who you were? Like, were you Neanderthal? Do you have some of that in your genomes? You may or may not know. Were you Phoenician? Were you a part of the um, cultures in India? Okay, and that might be a part of your past life. Were you a part of the Mughal Empire? Do you even know what that is? Does it even matter at this point? No, in some ways it doesn't matter because your get up and go day is here. Your ability um, to be here where you are in the 4D and start to have some of your first glimmers of awakening. Now, there is a lot more to come. It just doesn't start because you became aware of some of this stuff. In fact, a lot of it is a breakdown, which is why this has to break down.
Stop being an empath. Stop taking on other people's stuff, but the how to. It's so that you can be really who you came here to be. I know that sounds like a cliche. I'm going to be who I came here to be. But what that really means is be the human angelic you are. Be the lover you are. It's time to stop the fighting. It's time to, you know, stop being fought. And it's time to get to a new level. We have a brand new level that people are going to be living at, even as other people, you know, don't understand it. It's not an understanding of the mind, though. It's an understanding of the heart. And I know Barbie, and Barbie is getting a little bit tired of this whole journey. Really, really tired. It's confusing. It's time to stop. No, it's time to stop some of the old things that really aren't going to work anymore. So I highly recommend that you get my book on twin flame relationships where there is a distinct chapter on how to stop being an empath. What is being an empath and how do you stop it and how do you rise above to the next level? People that um, have some empathic qualities will sometimes call them superpowers. What are your superpowers? Do you want to find out? Do you want to find out once you clear some of the past and how to get clear Let's find out what else you've got. What do you have in there? What are you able to do? What are you capable of? How are you going to shift your relationship or relationships? Or as I call it, relation shift. <laughs> shift your relationship using my Twin Flame Relationships book. And please do not forget your relationship to yourself is of utmost prime importance. It is crucial that you pay attention to yourself and that you pay attention to connections that are trying to get there. If you're not making space, if you're not making time, I talk about that in here because I give you an outline of, you know, how it is, how it has been, what to do. These are simple things that I have distilled it down because some of this took me quite a while to do. And so if you are interested in stopping an empath, please check it out. The link is below and you can find it on my website. And by the way, get my free ebook on my website. Bye.